Hey you guys, welcome to Homesteading with SEK. I hope everyone is doing well. Alright you guys, this is a DIY project that I am getting to and we are doing a, I would say, a mini restoration deck. So, my deck is actually almost 20 years old you guys and it's been hanging in there and we've been changing out um, some of the the decking um, throughout the years where the wood is getting um, warped and worn out and weak so we decided yesterday that we was gonna pull all of these suckers up and we was gonna change just the flooring of the deck now eventually we'll get to the rails and um, replace like the top layers which are the 4x4s which are getting weak um, but right now we're just focusing on the floor part of the deck and it is looking really really good and we're not going to take out any of the joists that are underneath because those still have strength we're just focusing on the floor part because that's the part that was getting weak and towards the back of the deck is the area where there's still some strength in that wood but it's still um, worn the um, back end is usually uh, it, it actually has some strength because of the umbrella covering it but the outer part of the deck is the part that was getting weak where we come up the stairs all the time and things of that nature so right now it's looking so good you guys and this was a DIY that I wanted to get to and I just said yesterday let's go for it and we did we did it out and the thunderstorm that came through and um we just made it work until the to the night we put down already like i think 20 boards and we got 22 more to go and we're going to actually finish off the stairs as well and this back end but um i turn you guys around so y'all can see how far we got i mean we did the daggone thing yesterday yeah we kept saying we wanted to get it done, but I was torn with gardening things, and um, y'all know I've been talking about getting my greenhouse back up and running, and I was like, no, <laughs> I got some DIYs that I need to be doing around this house to keep my house up the park. So um, we just went for it yesterday, and we're getting ready to lay down the last. I think we got 23 more boards to do, including the step. Let me show you how worn out my steps have gotten over time like just super worn out all the nails is lifting out it started to get somewhat a little bit dangerous you guys so we was like no we we can already knock this out so if you have like a deck diy that you want to do you definitely can do this yourself it's super easy you just need a crowbar a hammer and the appropriate um exterior nails so this is what all my wood is looking like that we have pulled up so um we can use this wood out in the garden in some areas i may take some pieces to um hold down the landscaping fabric on my left side of the grow area that may work and we were thinking about actually cutting some of it down to use it as firewood as well but definitely don't want to not use it so that's that's the plan we'll salvage salvage what we can what we can't we'll um just haul it off or let it kind of decompose out in the back of the yard where it's not visible but um yeah so we got the steps to go and that is what my steps is looking like and y'all can see let me see if i could zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see how my nails are lifting out of the steps so y'all can see that that is dangerous so um we said let's do this right now let's knock it out and yesterday we started about i think about four o'clock and y'all know once you get in the rhythm or something it's hard to stop and when I tell y'all we got these boards up so fast and got these down so fast, we just knocked it out and the rain came in 
and we just kept it moving. <laughs> so, again, easy DIY, easy DIY. So, I will bring you guys a finished look on how uh, it is going to be once I am finished with it. And it should be looking nice and nice and clean and strong. It feels good. It don't, we don't feel that weakness that we was feeling. And um, just really happy about the turnout. Really happy we just went for it yesterday even though it was hot. A lot of our DIYs we try to do in the fall months. But sometimes you got to get out here in this heat and just, just make it happen, you guys. So we did that. So if you are new to carpentry or intimidated by doing a deck you could get a deck done all you gotta do is just look at it and eyeball and see what you need either it be four by fours or five five and a quarter by eights my deck is actually we're using five and a quarter by eight foot so we didn't have to do any cutting on the flooring part except for where the posts are let me show you guys that and that was super easy too and we used the um we didn't even use our big saw to cut you know in those corner areas right there we used the uh little uh what is it the little jigsaw and we were able to get that done real good so we didn't have to big bring out that big mamma jamma saw so um we really happy with how it's turning out and I'm um, looking forward to getting it done uh, today. And um, I have some plans on what I want to do out here. There's this part of me that want to put like a centerpiece uh, grass um, rug out to make it more pretty. Um, and uh, probably put some more chairs out here. And I'm just undecided on what kind of chairs because I don't been through every type of uh, deck furniture that I could possibly um, have and I thought about doing pallet furniture all the way around the deck and I thought that would be nice like a sectional all the way around and that would create a nice um, conversational area for us as, as a family and I was thinking about doing away with a big table with an umbrella and just deal with little you know like corner tables so I'm still working on how I want to fix this up this time I even thought about maybe a middle coffee table in the middle and maybe just use my umbrella in the far end corner I'm still undecided on how I want to do that because my my umbrella now is super big so I have to figure out how to design it this time I'll come up with something but this is what it's looking like right now you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video of my DIY project and this is SEK the homestead I hope you guys are hearing me out there um, much better I have my microphone on I know I got some comments the other day you guys are thumbs up and saying you guys are hearing me much better so I appreciate that and SEK the homesteader will see you guys on the next video peace